Okay, so you guys have asked and I'm going to deliver in this YouTube video seven easy freelancing gigs that you can start on Fiverr with little to no experience. Now, when I say little experience, I understand that there are some people who went to school for this and feel that that's not true and I might get some hate for it below in the comment section, but I'm okay, I'm prepared for it. I think most things in the world can be done without any schooling. I'm not talking about being a doctor or a lawyer right now, I'm talking about everything else. So I'm gonna go over seven different ways you guys can make money on Fiverr with no prior experience and no college degree in this video, let's do it. Okay, so I've carefully chosen uh, seven different Fiverr gigs that span a variety of skill set and interests. This is not just for writers, since you guys know I always talk about writing. I'm gonna go over many different things that I have personally seen people open on Fiverr and make money on Fiverr doing it. And most of them uh, had no prior experience and certainly no college degree. So if you're watching this and you feel that you're not prepared for this or you feel you don't know what you're doing, this is a perfect video for you because this is uh, for the beginners out there who want to get in on the action and have no idea where to start. All right guys, so it's time to dive into my Fiverr here and go over these seven different ways you're gonna make easy money on Fiverr. And we are going to start with my favorite beta reading. Beta reading is when a non-professional looks over someone's piece of writing or a book and gives their honest opinion on it before it is published officially. So the whole point of being a beta reader is that you are not a professional, you don't work at a publishing company, you're someone who's just willing to give your opinion on whatever this person has written before they post it or publish it. And I can say I have used beta readers before with my own eBooks and with my own articles that I have written. So it's a very valuable thing that people are willing to pay you for. So as you guys can see on here, I'm scrolling through, here are all a bunch of different level one, level two sellers selling beta reading. So let's look at this person. They have a ton of reviews and they are charging 10 to 40 to $70, it looks like, to beta read a novel. And here is how they have described it. And people are loving it in the comments section. So it looks like for a 25K to 80K word book, she's charging 70 bucks. That is gonna come out to somewhere probably around $15 an hour for this. However, you have to understand that this is such a low risk, low stress job that this is probably enjoyable for this person. She can read a book a day and make $70 doing it and that can really add up, especially if she has other gigs on here. You know, this might just be one of the gigs she's offering. And it's pretty cool because you get to read about, you know, other people and what they are writing. You get to be tipped off to a book maybe before it's published, uh, which is awesome. Here is the Fiverr Pro version of that, which as you can see is a lot more expensive this woman's charging you know $350 for that exact same service and it looks like people are buying it which is awesome and that that's a nice living right there making $350 a day reading books doesn't sound too bad to me here is how she has described the gig for it just to give you guys a look at it and yeah I mean if I had to guess this woman is making uh, at least 10k per month doing this and she probably offers a bunch of other things as well which is really cool okay so another thing that I came across the other day which technically requires no prior experience is website user testing or app user testing. And it's the same type of concept where this person is gonna come in and you're gonna experience a new website or an app before it launches and they are going to observe you doing it, which means what you're gonna do is either on your laptop or your phone, you are gonna screen record yourself going through the app. As someone who's created an app, this is really, really helpful to them because they see what buttons you go to click, what buttons you don't go to click, and it helps them make the app as user-friendly as possible because if the app is not user-friendly, people are gonna just X out of it and not go back into it. So user testing is so, so important for these startups and app teams and you don't need to be an expert at all. They're actually looking for your common sense, you know, exploration inside of the app. They don't, even, they don't care if you have a master's degree or not. You can see this person charges 10, 20, $30. Uh, people are loving it. Uh, I'm not surprised. Here's another one. Test website for five minutes live for 25 bucks, 10 minutes for 35 bucks, 15 plus minutes for 45 bucks. You guys can see this stuff can add up to very easily making you at least $100 per day and you can literally get started um, off
offering this type of service tonight. As always, guys, I always say go check out your competitors on Fiverr first, though. Go look at how they're wording this stuff. Go look at their portfolios that they have uploaded because it's going to help you set up a gig that is going to be as strategic as possible. This is one I saw the other day. I probably would do this, honestly, if I wasn't writing on Fiverr. Designing ebook covers in Canva. And you might be thinking, well, I'm not a professional graphic design artist. That's okay. You're going to tell the client that you're not that. You're going to also tell them that you are designing this ebook cover in Canva, and that's why you're not going to charge $5,000 for it. So this person right here is only charging $15, and these are 100% Canva covers. I can tell you right now from looking at them. Here is how they have worded the gig. They say, I decline offensive, insensitive publications. Yep, I mean, you're allowed to be upfront with what you will and won't do in your gig. This is your storefront. Combination print, ebook package, $45. This is awesome. Um, you can literally go on Canva and just type in ebook covers. It comes right up. And look, it's already formatted for you guys in Canva. This is nuts to me. I think it's a really easy way to make 10, 15, 20 bucks and you don't have to be a graphic designer to do a logo, for example, a vector image. Yes, you do, but for an ebook cover, absolutely not. The same thing holds true for social media cover, social media banners, Instagram stories. Uh, the same thing holds true for literally all of them. Okay, so the next thing we have coming up here is virtual assistants. Virtual assistantship is blowing up right now. So many people are coming online that they need admin help. I'm one of them. I have two virtual assistants. I could probably use four if I'm going to be honest. And it's totally worth it to me to pay someone 15, 20 bucks an hour to do something that now freed up my time to go do something that's going to make me $100 an hour. So the virtual assistant, people are never going to question paying you for this, believe me. Here's her about this gig. I mean, it's not even a really good description at all, and it clearly doesn't matter. People are loving this gig. They're giving her tons of five star reviews. It can seriously add up. I've seen a lot of people go on to build their own virtual assistant agencies off of Fiverr by having this much success on it. There's nothing wrong with that. You can also open a Fiverr business account where you manage an agency within Fiverr. For the haters who are constantly saying, oh, Alex has help, Alex has help. Of course I have help. Duh. Any business, smart, savvy business person has help. And Fiverr even understands it so much that they allow you to manage teams on Fiverr now. So, sorry. Take the, you gotta take the hate elsewhere. You have to find something new to come at me for. But yeah, I mean, here's just another way this person is describing it. People are loving it. I can't tell you how popular virtual assistant work is right now. I can just tell you that these people are having orders fly in while, we're, while I'm talking about this to you. Another one, transcribing. Uh, a big one is people need their podcast transcribed and this then helps them turn it into blog posts, YouTube scripts, a bunch of other ways that they then go to repurpose it. So if you will listen to a 45 minute podcast and write it out for this person, they will pay you for it. This person has kind of a low rate, $5 for 20 minutes, uh, not terrible. Let's see what this person's charging. Um, they're starting at $5, moving up to 90, moving up to $150. So if I had to guess, this one is low price because these people are using AI software to do the transcribing and then they're just going in and editing it, if I had to guess. And there's nothing wrong with doing that so long as you are delivering the product that you promised to the client when it's all said and done, uh, you have not done anything wrong. So this person's gig looks awesome. Um, if I was them, I would put their personal face into this to establish a little bit of trust, but they might not even need to at this point because they have so many five-star reviews, they're pretty much bulletproof, and that's definitely how Fiverr goes. Here are all of the glowing reviews for this person. So yeah, I mean, transcribing is like really easy, mind-numbing work. Like you can almost do it while you're watching TV type of thing. Blog writing is next on the list. People do not care if you went to college or not to write a blog for them. And I can say of all the different writing services I offer on Fiverr, blog writing is definitely the easiest. It does not take a rocket scientist to learn how to write a blog. You come up with a title, a subtitle, an intro paragraph, bulleted points, and a conclusion. Uh, you do not have to have some fancy degree to do this. And if you're brand new starting out, you can start by charging 10 bucks and you can even let the client know that you're brand new and that you're not even lying to anyone about anything. So this guy, 
Buy is starting at $35 for 350 words, $60 for 80 words, that's pretty good. I charge like 150 for 800 words. So he is at a level one seller and people are buying this. There's a lot of money to be made in blog writing. It is so worth it to these companies to hire somebody else to write these blogs. Like, let me tell you, it is saving them hours of work to outsource it to you guys and they will gladly, gladly do so. Here's one top rated seller, 45, yeah, 60, 100 bucks for a thousand words. This person can probably write this in one hour. So they're taking home after the 20%, $80 per hour, writing blogs from their laptop anywhere in the world. You guys have heard me talk about this extensively. I'm, I'm not trying to make it sound like an MLM. Um, it is true though, you can see it right here. Uh, proof in the pudding right here, guys. I mean, these people are sweeping, sweeping. Learning how to write a blog is just a general skill set that I believe is gonna advance you in any business that you do because you're always gonna need to have written content and whatever it is you do. And I think blog writing is a really easy way to get your foot in the door with copywriting. Okay, this last one I saw in another YouTube video, which is shout outs on social media or influencing. You might say to yourself, okay, well, I don't have 100,000 followers, Alex, so I can't do that. If you look in some of these gigs, these people are giving shout outs on their own podcast. They're not even mentioning how many subscribers they have on it. They might have four. Um, people are giving shout outs on their Facebook page to their 2,000 Facebook friends from their high school. You can get clever here. If you want to start at just 10, five bucks, because you're only gonna give a shout out to something with not a large audience, that's fine. It's gonna take you one second to do it and then you're done. Uh, oh my God, I love this one. I will shout you out on my 51K viral dogs Instagram page. I love people. This, this is like, this is why I do this. <laughs> this person has put their dog on social media successfully and now they're profiting from their dog's popularity in shout outs. 15 bucks per shout out. Freaking brilliant, guys. This is this is a beautiful time to be alive. If you are not pumped up with me right now, I, I hope you now are after seeing this corgi. Um, I also love corgis, so that's why I'm like maybe a little partial to this. <laughs> anyway, um, you do not have to be a massive social media star to give shout outs. However, this should inspire you after this video to go put some effort into your social media because it, you can monetize it so freaking easily. We got LinkedIn on here, we got Instagram, we got YouTube. Shopify, I mean, you dream it, people are listing it on Fiverr and that is something that I really, really love to see. Okay guys, so if you like videos like the one I just did, please let me know below because I can definitely do more of them. After seven years on Fiverr, I probably know about over 200 different ways you could be making money online just using Viverr. And Fiverr is only one of many, many freelancing marketplaces out there from Contra and Continuum to Upwork, 99designs, Cloud Peeps, you name it. You have so many options when it comes to freelancing. So I'm just here to awaken you guys and enlighten you to all of the different ways that you could be making money online today. As always guys, if you like this video, show me some love below. Don't forget to check out my free podcast. I just wrapped season one. Reviews are greatly appreciated and to join my free Facebook group where we provide um, support. You can meet with other freelancers, run ideas, uh, pass them, post your account, get real-time critiques on it, all that good stuff. All right guys, so I hope after this video you are going to X out of YouTube and go do one of these things and if you do, please let me know in the comments below. With that, I will be back next week. Bye!